Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another unbox video for you today. I'm very excited. I purchased this item from uh, the website called 24S. I don't know if anyone has heard of this website, but it is a website that's based in France. So I got this item shipped from Paris to my house, which is pretty exciting because I don't think I've ever purchased anything uh, online from Paris. So um, this will be my first experience. Um, the website is actually, I like the design of the website and it's very, um, they have competitive pricing um, and one of the, I guess the best thing about it is the price shows you um, the tax and duty. So it's, it's you know, there's no surprises when you uh, make the final purchase. Um, I was able to pay with Canadian currency as well, so the, all that was pretty straightforward. And um, it w it took a week for the item to get here. I did have some delay, so it's a bit over a week, but the estimated timeline was supposed to be a week, week from the time you purchase till when you receive it, uh, or even faster sometimes. So that was really, really nice. I also requested, wow, look at that. I really should wish, okay, let me do this again. I really should have done it. The, so the, the box look, looks really cool itself. And then when I open it, voila. It was this beautiful kind of 3D effect, and it says 24s.com, uh, open with joy, that's very neat, and then it has this little, what is it, a cafe maybe, or it looks like a subway door, but it looks like a cafe. That's really, really neat. I love this box. Um, and then it says French work ba uh, life balance. That's very cute. And. Um, it's actually uh, very interesting because I've been watching this Netflix show, Emily in Paris, and it's like, this remind me of that uh, a little bit for sure. And so yeah, the, the parcel box is quite nice. And I've also requested for their, I mean, you can also go for the eco-friendly uh, eco option, but it's my first time purchasing from the website. So I went for the fancier option. And again, this is the bottom. It says 24 and then it's like, recycle me. But yeah, even this regular parcel box is really neat. I'm not sure if you are, I don't think this is meant to do anything. I think it's just the cover for the box, but it's very cool. It says French work-life balance. Anyways, um, so like I said, I think a huge hesitation for a lot of people to purchase things from out of the country is that duty and the extra fees that you may have to pay and whether the return is gonna be um you know easy and all that so they're supposed to have complimentary return as well where people like dhl um clerk can just come to your house and pick it up so i think should be fairly easy if you ever do decide to return your item but without further ado let's open the box and see what's inside so again the box says 24x.com and it's a nice pretty white box it's magnetic closure here and then it says from paris with love Oh, it's very it's very sweet and I think the packaging is quite thoughtful. Um, if you guys follow my channel, you know I buy a lot from Essence, which is a Canadian-based company. They're great too. I mean, it's fast shipping for me. The customer service is fairly good, but they don't have these kind of fancy packaging at all. Like their box are very generic, um, and half of, like most of the time they don't even have the actual box with your uh, with your bag. So it's really just. Uh, whatever, just a brown paper paper bag. And the receipt, you don't get a receipt envelope like this, you just get an online copy. So this is the, I believe it's a receipt, so let's open it. It's a, just a, do I need to open it or I can just slide the material out? Like I don't have to really like open the sticker, but. Okay, there's some information, so I'm just gonna open it gently. Oh, so there is a return guide. That's very thoughtful too. Um, so it tells you the steps for your return, which is pretty cool. And then in here, you have a Merci card. So that again, that's very nice. Thank you for choosing me. I feel like all this effort makes me like not wanting to have to return something. They actually have the label ready, wow. I wonder if I can just like stick this on and then that's it. Seemed quite easy. So I am very pleased with that and I definitely for this reason I will start considering purchase from them. 
more. So this is really, really cool. And on the receipt, they actually only give you the pricing for the item. It doesn't include the tax, but I guess depending on which province you're in, the tax would vary, but all right. And then on to the main part of the unboxing. This is so much more fun than my other unboxing because there's so much going on. Okay, so it's a nice tissue paper with a sticker. I feel like that's what most luxury item would do. Like they will have a, you know, and beautiful Chloe bag this is and then it's like all cushioned with extra tissue paper I'll take that in so more tissue paper and then look at the bottom of this box it's so cool just have a little graffiti of like friends of the different like that's just really cool and really really um really nice packaging I really like this box okay but this is the reason why I made the purchase. Not for the fancy packaging in the box. It's this beautiful Chloe bag. And I've, this is my very first Chloe item. Um, first impression on the dust bag, it's okay. Like it's pretty normal, I would say. It's not as nice as I find compared to my other luxury brand dust bag. It's kind of thin. It is soft on the inside and more um, rough on the outside. And it's a little thin, I think, um, but it's nice. Uh, and then here is the bag. Okay, there's like too much going on. I'll remove all the stuff and then show you guys what it truly looks like. So it is the Chloe test bag and you can probably tell that from the title of my video. Um, it comes with these pegs, which I assume you have to leave it on if you want to return. It has the original Chloe um, product tag as well, which is removable, I think. So I'll remove that. And um, this is the gray color. Oh, I can't remember the color name specifically. Maybe it says on my receipt. It is the, oh, it just says gray. Uh, I just can't remember the, the name of the gray, but uh, this is the strap. So both straps are supposed to be removable, I'm pretty sure, but I can't seem to. Yeah, so you are able to remove all the straps if you like even. So the, the ring here can easily open. So all the designs are the same. So you have a ring like this and you just have an opening like that so fairly straightforward let me see if i can slide out this plastic piece okay so i can slide out the wrapping on this fairly easily okay. and then the front there's a lot of uh, paper everywhere side I'll just remove the wrap on the gold hardware here let me just pull it out okay all right beautiful okay you guys there's more like on the side here um, so it is the Chloe test bag and um, it's this beautiful soft calf leather um, and in both gold and silver hardware, I think that's the kind of interesting thing about this bag is, um, it's, you know, the mixed hardware on the bag. I've been picturing how heavy this bag is with all the hardware. It is not light. I wouldn't say it's a light bag because I, I have a lot of other bags that I find a lot light, lighter, but it's not uh, excessively heavy. So I don't think it's that heavy. Um, and then obviously the signature ring with the Chloe on it. Okay, and as we open it, it's this nice magnetic open closure. Inside, more tissue paper. And inside is really just this giant uh, bag. So, and it has a tiny pocket here, which I understand you can slide your credit card in, but I think 
it, it's so small that it'd be kind of tricky to even slide in credit cards. Just a little slot um, for stuff. Oh, and it comes with this nice, uh, I guess, care pack package from Chloe. Comes like that. Oh, it is actually an uh, authenticity certificate, but it's blank. <laughs> so I guess the store that sells is supposed to fill it in, but it's there. The package is there. Um, again, I don't have any Chloe bags, so I can't really tell you in reference to my other or like, you know, comparing to anything else. But one of the biggest kind of um, concern or complaints with this bag is really that with the smooth leather, um, it would be hard to maintain because it's very easy to scratch. Um, my first impression on the make of the bag it's nice it's well made in general um are these made in italy i think they're made in italy let me just take a look yep it's uh bags are made in italy they feels very durable like it doesn't um you know it doesn't feel like very flimsy or anything like it's it's well made bag um but really the the reason I decided to go with this one, so I've been looking for a kind of a saddle shaped bag um, for a while now. I was debating between this one and the um, Yves Saint Laurent uh, Kaya bag, which is also a new, it's not quite the same shape, but it is a saddle shaped bag as well as a vintage Louis Vuitton St. Cloud bag. Uh, so those were other ones on my list of uh, selections. I'll put some pictures in. Um, but the the win, winning kind of factor on this bag is really it really came down to the strap. So for the longest time, I've been kind of, kind of waiting or looking for a thick, uh, nice, well made strap. So um, I've been kind of just and and this one caught my eye, and I think I have a lot of. Um, Few, I have a few like influencer that I follow on Instagram and on YouTube that has this specific bag and I think really the the strap kind of caught my eye so I'm gonna put it on and show you guys how it looks like with the strap because I I think it looks really cute with a shorter strap as well but I really personally love this big strap and I like the ring kind of hoop I think it's fairly easy to use it's an easy kind of open close um, feature. So okay. So it looks like this as a crossbody. This is a bit long, so I can probably I can probably adjust to make it a bit shorter. So the cool thing about the long strap is it does have what five adjustable kind of options um, so it is a two-piece um, strap so I think that's also very neat if I can figure it out the, if I can figure out how to adjust it I think it's just a little stiff with a new leather okay I'm gonna play with it a bit later but um, essentially you have these options so you can carry it as a crossbody like this or then you can carry even with the strap like long strap on you can still carry on your shoulder which I think is also very cool and then obviously you can carry it up to the crack of your arm and then I guess on one shoulder as well but you have to make it a bit shorter to, to wear this way but I just like this big big strap like I've been also thinking about collecting a saddle bag for a while, but I don't want to buy the saddle bag without the giant guitar strap. Um, but that's kind of a bigger goal because it's so expensive. Um, so I'm, I'm still debating about that. But in the meantime, I chose between the three I have like my eye on and I've decided to go with this one. Uh, the price on 24S right now, it's actually really good compared to a lot of other side i've um, been uh, looking at so if you are interested you definitely can go ahead and purchase from 24s um, 
like I said, no duty, pretty fast shipping, and they do seem to have a very easy return process and policy. So um, I would uh, highly recommend and um, I will, uh, once I have a chance to play with the bag a little bit more, I'll do a little bit uh, of an in-depth review or what it can fit in the bag for you. Um, that's coming up. I mean, with Chloe, because they come with, they come out with new design and new kind of it bag every season, I think right now the Mini C is actually probably even more popular compared to the Tess. Uh, that's the, like the little, I'll put a picture here too, but like it's a little square shaped um, bag. It's also very cute, but I just feel like I have that similar type in my collection and I don't have anything in this saddle um, shape. And I was pretty drawn to this nice like big hoop um, ring, but I feel like to some certain extent it is because I'm seeing it on social media, especially from a few um, influencer um, that I really, really like, you know, a lot of style that I can kind of personally relate to. So, um, and that's why I went with this bag. And even this color, I think um, Emma Hill and a few other um, bloggers also have this color. They do this, this honestly, this Chloe test bag comes in so many different color, leather combination, different leather patterns, and um, they have a different size for the Chloe test bag. And there's another like a bigger size, but I find that one a bit too big. So not as cute because even this one, it's not really a mini size. It is tr like a true small size, which I think it's more than enough in like what we daily use. Um, so I do think it's in terms of size, this one is probably the preferred, um, but tons of different colors. They do different leather kind of combination colors as well. So uh, do check them out. The pricing there is a little bit, but generally speaking, these are, um, you know, luxury brands, but it's not to the point, I, I you know, compared to Chanel or, you know, some other brand, it's actually not too bad. Um, but like I said, yeah. Highly recommend my first experience um, purchase from 24S. It was very, very positive. So go ahead and check them out and I will come to you with another video on this bag with a little bit more detail, hopefully next time. All right, talk to you guys later, bye.